church allow me that we share this sermon which is saying understanding understanding the triumphant entry into Jerusalem. I know when we understand, when, when we seek to understand, there must be an action after understanding. Hallelujah. Jerusalem. At the end of it, we can't even be able to say, understanding the triumphant entry into Jerusalem and knowing what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Understanding the triumphant entry into Jerusalem. It was not the first time that Jesus entered Jerusalem. Many times Jesus went to Jerusalem. Oko yesu krisu kamagelenga chupingo muli luk muli luk for verse 18 you hear how Jesus had gone into Jerusalem elo basa mkano kutila wongfwe amashiwi kuli wena but at this moment this is this was a defining moment for Jesus ukutia na wali ya wene haba shai shime haba le krishika kushia kutila uyuni nani bali nile ukwishiba hallelujah and so when we just read the scriptures in the book of Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 to 13 we hear how this coming of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem was prophesied before this time ukusome la baka yesu kristu ukuingira mu Jerusalem ungetu ukuingira na ukuchitia mu Jerusalem kwa asome and so in this scripture of Zechariah, we hear the prophecy that there will be a time coming when a son of Zion, a, a, a child of Zion, shall enter into Jerusalem to set the captives free. Hallelujah. Just from this scripture, we understand what are we doing on Palm Sunday. The first thing that we have to know is that Palm Sunday is the fulfillment of the prophecy that was given about the Savior. It was unfortunate that at that time they could not realize the language because what Israel was waiting for was a political leader to come and deliver them. Hallelujah. They were masuko.
is actually explaining the fulfillment of this. Hallelujah. I can't. 
it. Hallelujah. You can be a person who feels you are so neglected. You have not counted. You do not have a name. But the moment Jesus is riding on your heart. Hallelujah. Fuck 
ya mtovu God. Ukula ndungo uliku God, atikabuwa wabu mwurisha ya something like that time. Tuwa yae tolo inao kana kwa kukota atisatuika ni. Imwelidi ya shamulishi. Nina, nanatu, mtu wa kutu wala kukoti, batila muka ya kukoti, bafla ite. Iwa kutu wala kumba likali wawewa atisatuika la isa kandefo luhu lepuli. So mwuri hii wiki, etwa mke itina bali yobo mwurela ambiati ya bago wa nivei mwansani, chile kumondo lorefi ya mwansi kila tishu, ewa yesu alea kukubafini. Nikumte ya mtofu chai, tuwala hii kakumte ya mtofu chishu. Aleluya. Nifikuti tuwatila content, content of crucifixion or content of what? Content of salvation. I don't know what it can be called. So in this week, you ought to move blessedly before the eyes of God. Hallelujah. This is the week where you forgive. This is the week where you claim your blessing. This is the way God restores you. Because he actually proclaimed to say, I have come. I am anointed with the good news to set the captives free. To make the those that are blind to see. Not physical seeing, but seeing who Jesus is in your life. So that now you can begin to live a better life. That eventually makes you come closer to your God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, as I conclude, I appeal to each one of us. In fact, when you all say, sometimes I tell you to say, look at your neighbor. Nga mwama mwana ba neighbor mayonga tamawa. Kwa mwana 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 Na alibia pisha student minister wa MCF wa kaitina. Tata, mamba mwani kwa ta wa MCF wa mwani mwani shibati. Bani fi alaba na mwushu. Ele mwani 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 Jesus Christ. May God bless us all.